Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a past, present, and future reading for the sign of Capricorn. These messages will now resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into this reading and see what messages Spirit has for you. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the, notifi and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications whenever I post. So let's jump right into your reading, Capricorn. So first, we're going to take a look at your past. So the first message that I have is the High Priestess, the Chariot, and Judgment. Okay. I feel like in the past, you really weren't making good decisions when it came to a situation. It's like you were, you know, going against your intuition, even though you may have known that something wasn't right when it came to the situation. It's like you still wanted it, like you still went after it, even though you may have felt that something was off because this was what you wanted. Like you wanted this for some of you, her person. So you wanted this person. So, you know, despite how you felt despite what your intuition was telling you it's like you were just working against yourself because you know you put your desires against what you felt was right and i feel that you did not get what you wanted out of the situation yes because i heard toxic for some of you this person was toxic the situation was toxic and this was not a situation that was good for your highest good. So let's clarify the messages. Spirit, give me a message for the High Priestess. I have the Nine of Wands. I have Judgment. And I have the Ten of swords as well as the star in the reverse so i definitely feel with this judgment in the reverse this ten of swords in the reverse and this star in the reverse you going against your intuition really did not benefit you because i feel like for some of you this person was very closed off when it came to a relationship so they really were not ready to make a commitment and I feel that this person was closed off due to past disappointments, due to failed relationships. So that is why they couldn't give you what you wanted out of this relationship. And it's like spirit tried to guide you and I heard warn you about this person, but you still kept moving forward with this relationship and you ended up being disappointed. Yeah, because they couldn't give you what you wanted. They couldn't give you what you deserved because they still had some things that they need to work on within themselves. They're very guarded. They're emotionally unavailable. So that's why they're not ready to fully invest in a relationship. So let's get a message for the chariots. I have justice and I have the six of swords. I feel like for some of you, you kept repeating a cycle with this person. It's like you will break up and get back together. You'll stop talking to them for a few weeks, a few months, and then you'll pick right back up where you left off. It was like a never ending cycle. You kept going back to this person, despite what your intuition was telling you. And I heard like not to go back. So yes, your intuition was speaking to you and telling you that you need to leave this person alone. But at the time, you were unable to. Let's get a message for judgment. I have the Four of Cups. I feel like despite what you tried to give to this person, despite the love that you wanted to offer, they were not in a place to receive it. Yeah, because they were still focusing on the past. They couldn't give you what you wanted because they were still holding on to past situations. 
And I feel like I heard offer your heart. It's like some of you were offering your heart to this person, but they weren't open to receiving it. So let's look at your present. I have the hang one. I have the fool. And I have temperance. I feel like right now you're in a very good space. I feel like you're just focusing on yourself, you know, really becoming more in tune with spirit. I heard spirituality. So some of you may be experiencing a spiritual evolution, spiritual growth. I heard gifts. So maybe a increase in your spiritual gifts. But it's like you are really tapped in. You are really in tune with spirit. And it's like with this fool, it's like you're taking a leap of faith. And it's like you're doing something that is going to bring fulfillment and success into your life. I heard an endeavor. So some of you may be working on some type of endeavor, some type of business. But it's like with this temperance, I feel that... You are not trying to rush the process. Whatever this is that you're working on, I feel like you're just going with the flow. Despite the setbacks, it's like you're not letting this stop you from moving forward with your life. So let's clarify the messages. Yeah, and I also feel like with this temperance, it's like the past. These past situations, this past disappointment has pushed you into this new cycle and has pushed you into a place where you're stepping out on faith. You're believing in yourself. It's like this disappointment helped you to grow as a person. It helps you to evolve. It helps you to finally trust yourself and to start focusing on yourself. So let's get a message for the hang one. Yeah, and I just feel like you're working on something. Like for some of you, you're working on something. Like you're really putting a lot of time and effort into this. And I feel like, I heard like divinely guided and divine purpose. So whatever this is that you're doing, like this is your purpose. Like this is moving you towards your destiny. And I just heard spiritual. I heard spiritual career. So for some of you, you may be working on having some type of spiritual career. Doing something in spirituality. I have the Knight of Cups, yes. Working on creating stability, emotional stability in your life. I feel like for some of you, you went through a phase of healing. You went through a phase of releasing. It's like you fully worked on yourself. I heard counseling, so some of you may have went to counseling, but it's like you did the work in order to have emotional stability within yourself, yes. Learning how to make yourself happy. Learning how to be fulfilled without a relationship. Let's get a message for the fool. I have the page of wands. Yes, you're working on some type of new endeavor. And you are really hopeful about this you know you see the opportunities as being endless this is something that you may have recently started and it's like you're just starting to see things fall in place let's get a message for temperance i have the ace of swords in the reverse so yes it's like I heard like past energy. So for some of you, this is like past energy where you did not see the things work out that you wanted to. I feel like you may have tried, you know, to dwell into other business opportunities, into other ventures, but it never worked out the way you intended. And it's like you're using those experiences to help you move forward when it comes to this new opportunity. It's like, yes, I may have not got victory in the past, but I've learned from my mistakes and I'm choosing to do something different. And by doing something different, this is how you're going to be able to call in success. So I just feel like currently right now, you're just focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your spirituality. You're focusing on some type of endeavor or recent project that you just started. And it's like you're just learning from the past. Like you're learning from your past mistakes. 
So let's look at the future. I have the emperor. I have the world. I have the star. And I have the hermit. I just heard your waiting won't be in vain. So in the future, you're going to be waiting for something. This could have something to do with this new project, this new endeavor. I heard love for some of you. But it's like your waiting won't be in vain. Whatever this is for you, whether it's a relationship, whether it's um, your career, your finances, your own business. It's like spirit is saying that your waiting won't be in vain. With this emperor, it's like you're putting in the work you are investing and it will not be in vain. It's like you might not see the progress that you want to see in the beginning, but things are going to improve gradually when it comes to the situation. And I feel like with this Harmon, it's like a lot of you are just by yourselves. You're not really wanting to be bothered with anyone. You may have detached from family and friends, you know, just to really start focusing on the, the things that you need to do, the things that you need to accomplish. So let's get a message for the emperor. I have the three of wands. Yes, your ships are going to come in. You are going to get what you want. You are going to see success. Yes, you are going to see the movement. I just feel like right now you're just in your season of sowing and planting. But you are going to have success. Things are going to improve when it comes to the situation. And I heard finances. For some of you, Spirit is saying things are going to improve in terms of your finances. Let's get a message for the world. I have the five of wands in the reverse and I have the page, the knight of pentacles. I feel like, yeah, whatever you're working on is going to be a slow process, but you are going to see victory. I feel like in the future, you're not going to be conflicted. Like you're not going to be fighting against this. You're just going to let the process happen naturally. Like you're not going to force the situation because you're going to realize that it is going to take time, but you are going to get the success that you want. And her career, for some of you, this is in terms of your career. Maybe you've been looking for another job. Maybe you've been investing in some type of business, but you are going to get what you want. It's just going to take time. So let's get a message for the star. I have the higher of funds. Yes. Waiting for love. Yes. Some of you are waiting for love. Yes. And it's like you do have love coming in. I heard a new relationship. Some of you do have a new relationship coming in. And I feel like I heard soulmate. Whoever you meet next. And I heard the end of the year. So for some of you, this person is going to be coming in towards the end of the year. And this is going to be your soulmate, your divine counterpart. And you're going to end up marrying this person. I feel like I heard single. Some of you have been single for a very long time. Just focusing on yourself. Not really being involved with anyone. And it's like at the end of the year, you're finally going to meet the divine counterpart. You're finally going to meet the person that you've always wanted to share your life with. So let's get a message for the hermit. I have the five of cups in the reverse. Yes. I feel like you're just, for some of you, you're just being by yourself. Like you're not involved in any relationships. You're just focused on achieving some type of goal for yourself. And it's like with this hermit, yes, yeah, like you're just away. You know, you're just by yourself. And this is intentional. You're really not communicating a lot with family, with friends. You may not be going out a lot. You're just really focused. And I feel like with this Five of Cups, it's like 
your focus on creating like new opportunities for yourself. Like you're in your planning season. Like you're trying to come up with something or you're working on something. That is why you're not fully open with the people in your life. That's why you're not spending as much time with them as you normally would because you're working on something. Like you're working on something that is going to bring you happiness, that is going to give you fulfillment.